Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra for the month of February. We are just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind this reading may or may not be for you, and the timing is fluid. So we're just going to see what comes up. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Libra? One card, please. What do we have for Libra? Self-sabotage. Libra, what's going on here? You, you're sabotaging yourself with your self-doubt. Your worries, your paranoia. It's like you're, you're letting your own demons get the best of you. That's something you need to stop. Let me go ahead and read it for you. Become conscious of how your inner saboteur functions. You are about to sabotage a big opportunity. Now is the time to stop procrastinating and cease focusing your energy on why you are unworthy of wonderful, enriching experiences. When you connect to the saboteur archetype, you begin to recognize all the ways you pass up interesting opportunities and relationships which could make you grow, learn, evolve, and become fulfilled. The saboteur is terrified of change and guards your heart from that which is meaningful to you. With the misguided belief that if you don't try, you can't fail. It forgets that if you don't escape from your comfort zone, you cannot succeed and experience the love and joy that would, that would fulfill you. You need to listen. Listen to your gut and, and get out of that fear mentality. It's like, you, like it said, you're about to miss a big opportunity. Let's get two of these for Libra. Let's get two of these for Libra. What do we got for Libra? What do we have for Libra? One. One more card, please. Well, I guess you get three cards. <laughs> what do we have for Libra? Tiger, doing something risky. Take a chance. Well, if that doesn't fit, huh? You got to do something risky. Mountain Road, you are on the road to success. Wedge, something or someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. So something is trying to come in between something that you want. You're going to have to take a chance and do something risky. You're on the road to success. Do not let fear get in the way. I think you know what this is. I think that you know what you have to do. All right? I do. I think that you do know what you need to do. Do not let this person get in the way. You know what you need to do. Just do it. Take the chance. Alright, what do we have for Libra for the month of February? Five of Swords. Right now, this is where you're at. You're feeling defeated. You are. You're feeling defeated. You're feeling like you're being, you've been brought down. I feel like, you know, you're in a space where it's like it's a lose-lose situation. And that's how you feel. You feel like you, like you failed. You haven't failed. You haven't failed. Whoever it is in the background that thinks that they have won, it feels like this person is a loser. Obviously, this person is a loser. This person that hurt you is a loser. Okay? So, keep that in mind. Um, 
I think that you're you're struggling right now. Five of Swords, that's power struggles. I think that you are really struggling. You're struggling with, you know, being hurt. Somebody really, really hurt you really bad. And now you're struggling to get past it. The devil. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. Um, but this is your challenge. Your challenge is freedom. Remaining free. Uh restoring control cutting the strings you guys have been tied to a toxic situation like you were somebody's puppet i mean take a look at those strings and your challenge is freedom your challenge is breaking free taking back control of your life you know being free that is definitely your challenge so i think that you've been under somebody's control this person's control for quite some time and it's hard it's really hard to regain freedom when you've been controlled by another person or you know under another person's spell per se you know i feel like um you are in a, a space where you are breaking free but it's not easy it's difficult you may feel like you did something wrong i don't think you did I will zoom this in better in a minute. Hold on. We're just going to put this right here. There we go. Things are going to change for you. Um, you may be in a situation or you've been in a situation where you weren't feeling loved or you weren't being taken care of and it feels like you are feeling like it was all your fault. It wasn't your fault. I don't think it was your fault. Um, I feel like in the past, you, this is being stomped on, the Knight of Swords, this is your past. The Knight of Swords reversed. That is, that is being run over. Right? You've been you've been stomped on, you've been run over, you may have felt like you've been run over. It feels like things have been out of control. You may have been with somebody that was a know it all, somebody that blamed everybody for their for their problems, somebody that was insincere, somebody maybe you de were dealing with somebody that had mental health problems, okay? And and that's something that you can't control. I think that you were dealing with somebody that was potentially dangerous, okay? They were like a runaway train. And I feel like this person um, was clueless as to what they were doing to you. So, you know, don't feel like you did anything wrong. This person had their own agenda. They they weren't thinking about you. It was all about them. This was somebody that was thinking about themselves and themselves only. And I think that you may feel, you're, it feels like you're, try, you're, like you're taking the blame for this and and you know, you're not supposed to be taking the blame for this, okay? Uh, what you don't see is that you are feeling, why are you feeling so guilty? I feel like you're taking, you're feeling guilty. You know, let go of that guilt, let go of that fear, let go of those regrets. I think you, you, you deep down, you knew that this person didn't have good intentions. You knew that this person wasn't right for you. Or something like that, but you couldn't own up to it. You couldn't accept it because there's lack of acceptance here with this Ace of Swords reversed. Okay, I think that there there's extreme, uh, almost like feeling ashamed, feeling guilty, feeling sad that this has all happened. So I th I see sadness here. I see a lot of sadness and 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 regret and feeling ashamed of what has happened. Like it was your fault. It was not your fault. You were under some a toxic person's control. This is like a narcissist. A narcissist takes control of you and makes you think it was all your fault. Okay, male or female. So they make you think that you know you weren't good enough. You are good enough. Don't let that person, you know take control and keep being in control of you. It's time to, to really sever these ties. This is severing ties and this is severing ties. And I think that you're having a hard time severing ties because you feel guilty. Um, right now, you're having a really hard time moving on. You're having a hard time finding peace because I think you're feeling really bad about whoever it is that left you behind or you had to leave them behind. All right. And maybe this person is making you feel guilty. 
Maybe that's a form of, because this is manipulation. Maybe they've been manipulating you for so long that you, you know, maybe they are the person that is coming in between your peace and your happiness. You definitely have somebody that you that that is manipulative and has been manipulative towards you and has made you feel like, you're not good enough and that nobody wants you. That's not the truth. That is definitely not the truth. Um, I feel like you, you have an opportunity to move to a better place, to find a peace in your life. But it's like you're, you're so uh, tied to this toxic situation. This person really manipulated you. And there's a lot of self-doubts. That's why self-sabotage is here. It's like you're doubting that... It was them. It's like you're blaming yourself. Stop blaming yourself, please. In your future, you're going to need to accept the Ace of Swords reverse. That's a lack of acceptance. That's lack of truth. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. And maybe you are going to receive some information that really shocks you, you know, about the, whoever this person is that hurt you. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. So in the future, be prepared to receive some information that... Uh, may surprise you it may surprise you you know that maybe the, it, whatever this information is i think that it is going to help you to get unstuck okay we have the hangman over here you've been stuck you've been really struggling to let go of whatever this toxic situation is and it's because they were had you under their control for so long it's not easy to break free from something that had control over you it, it, you know you, it's like you didn't you didn't know, right? You didn't know that that's what was happening. It feels like you were dealing with somebody that was almost like with with the five of swords and the devil right here. It's like this person was narcissistic and or very very manipulative and controlling, like overly controlling. Um, but you know, I think that you are in the process of healing. I think you've been in a state of limbo. You've been going through some sort of healing. You've been going through uh, some sort of enlightenment. Right now, you're a little stuck and you are having a hard time letting go, but you are in a good place. Things are getting better. So yeah, you've been in a negative state of mind. You've been blaming yourself for whatever happened, but whoever you were dealing with probably didn't know how to love. They didn't even know what love was, okay? So, you know, in your outside influences, there's, there's, you're being protected. Consider this a blessing. You consider this, whoever this person is that you are breaking free from, this is a blessing because you're, you, this is like a wish that is going to be granted. Okay. There's an outside influence. There's a higher power involved is what I'm saying. It's like they have protected you from this person that was hurting you. This is protection right here. So consider this the universe or a higher power or angels or somebody that has passed away that has protected you from this situation that, you know, was dangerous for you. It really was dangerous. Whoever you were dealing with has had their own hidden agendas. They were totally ignorant to your needs. It was all about them. And, you know, I feel like this was a blessing. They, they protected you from this individual who was hurting you. And you should, you should be prepared for things to get better in a hurry. Okay. I feel like you are scared to start over. You may be fearful, but you're also excited at the same time. This is an exciting time and I feel like you're feeling the excitement. So this month, I think that your vigor and your vitality and your livelihood is going to start to come back because, I mean, it, it starts out as gloomy, but it starts and then it gets better and better and better and better. So I, I feel like things are going to start to get better. I think the overall outcome, the page of cups reversed is, is letting go of this unrequited love situation, you know, not giving it your energy. You know, the page of cups reversed is you've been dealing with somebody who, um, <laughs> was insincere and I think that maybe you start and if you look right here it's maybe you start to realize their insincerity because you're starting to feel good again right and I think you're you may be fearful of letting yourself sh shine but you know I think you are starting to shine again you're starting to glow again it's like your color is coming back your your vitality is coming back your 
it's like your happiness is coming back. Okay. By the end of the month, you're going to be in a different place than you were at the beginning of the month. Okay. I feel like you, you, the overall outcome is, is, um, shutting down your emotions, you know, more and more and more for this person that, that hurt you, that lied to you. Somebody lied to you. Let's get another card. Yeah, you were dealing with somebody that was keeping secrets. They were keeping secrets, but a secret is about to be revealed. Something is about to be revealed that is going to help you. It's going to help you to release, okay? It's going to help you to heal a little bit more from this person. It's like there's a little bit of information that is going to come out that is going to make you realize that this wasn't all your fault. It's going to it's going to it and it's going to give you the opportunity that you have been missing. You know, it feels also that somebody may be coming into your life that can help you. This is somebody that is exciting. This is somebody that is adventurous. This is somebody that um, it's funny, this Knight of Wands card. It's like it's it's like dance. Maybe you're gonna start dancing. You know, it's gonna make you feel like dancing. Maybe maybe they ask you to dance. Maybe this is gonna open up your creativity. It's like you're going to, maybe you start a dancing class or something like that. It's like, this is an exciting time to expand. Okay. So I see you smiling by the end of the month, you are going to be, you're going to be a lot happier than you were over here. It goes from, uh, blue, you know, blue, like blue is sad, right? Blue to happy. Okay. Shining again. So by the end of the month, it's like you're going to receive some sort of information that somebody has been hiding. Somebody has been keeping something from you. They've been hiding something from you, um, keeping it to themselves, but it's going to be revealed. And this revelation is going to help you to move forward to this better place that you have been. It's been hard to get out of. So be prepared for that. Um, let's look at that page of cups reversed out there, up there in the outcome. Now, I think that, um, you, you know, there's, there's, you may have been dealing with somebody that was obsessed with their image and, and it, maybe it's you. I don't know. This is somebody who is obsessed with their image. Uh, what's going on right here? Tower. This is a permanent loss. So I think this is letting this person go. A tower reverse, a permanent loss. This is like totally letting this person go. This person um, may experience something that really shocks them. So yeah, this is a permanent loss of some sort. The tower and the outcome. Permanently letting this person go. Permanently severing ties with who this false sense of security. Some sort of information is going to come through that is going to allow you to let go of this person, whoever this person is. It's going to be the uh, s straw that broke the camel's back. Okay. We have somebody here that has health problems, extreme health problems. And this person is very, very uh, secretive. They have been lying. And I think that you're going to get some information that helps you. It's going to help you. So uh, externally, there's somebody from above that is protecting you. They are protecting you from this harmful situation. They really are. And they're bringing you a new exciting opportunity that is, it's almost, it's like, I hope you dance. It's going to make you dance. It's going to make you happy. It's going to bring back your vitality. Okay. So be prepared by the end of the month to feel a hell of a lot better than you have here. You may go out dancing with somebody and just have a lot of fun. This is fun. Right now, you're struggling to let go, but something is going to come through that is going to help you to, to sever those ties, whatever it is. And you're going to be realizing your true identity in the future. So, yeah, I feel like this is a time of reflection 
And that's what's happening. You're reflecting on, on everything that has happened. This is the overall energy of the reading. And I think that, you know, you, you, you need to not feel ashamed. Don't feel guilty. It's, it wasn't something that you did. Whoever you were dealing with was false. They had health problems, maybe even mental health problems. They uh, lied. They didn't tell the truth. They were very controlling and manipulative. And they had you wrapped around their little finger. And they loved that power. They loved that control they had over you. So I think at the beginning of this month, you're, you're still troubled. You're still troubled by this situation. But by the end of the month, you, you, are start, you realize something. Something happens. And I think it's to the other person that you have been holding on to that really wakes you up. It's like, oh my God, I get it. I get it. She, this person really was sick. This person really was crazy. This person really was, you know, it wasn't me. You know, that kind of information. So... And this is an entrance as well. This could be somebody entering your life. Somebody entering, you know, really, really fast. All of a sudden, there's somebody that is right here in front of you. And they're they're taking you someplace that is really, you know, this person is taking you someplace good. It's They're taking you someplace where there's happiness, where there's dancing, where there's fun, where it's just like, oh my God, you can be free. Okay. So I feel like there is going to be somebody that enters that um, changes everything for you. This is a wish being granted. So there is a wish. And maybe you subconsciously wished for freedom. You subconsciously wished, wished for something exciting. You know, you wished for something. And this is your wish being granted. So Libra, I feel as though whoever it is that you have been hung up on, I think that you are going to... Of something is going to happen to help you move past this person. Good luck.